What's up, y'all? I am looking fat as hell these days. Every time I walk by the mirror, I'm like, God damn, where'd that fucking big ass belly come from? It's because I've been eating like a motherfucker and I keep catching myself pulling my shirt down because <laughs> my shirt keeps getting stuck to my belly. But the gains are coming. I'm really happy. I hit a PR on the front squat, 290 for eight. Um, I was actually tempted to go for 295 today, but I'm glad I didn't because I was looking at the last rep and it was an RPE 9. So if I would have like lost my breath or just slight misgroove, I wouldn't have got 295 for eight. So I have slow, steady progress is the name of the game. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I try to attempt 295 next week, but I'm happy I got 290 this week. And eventually, the ultimate goal is to get 315 for eight, and hopefully get a front squat of 405. That would be awesome. That's a lifetime goal. And then I had another PR on the bench, 315 for six reps. Before this, my previous PR was five reps, and that was uh, about almost two years ago when I was also heavier. So I was before I was like around 210, 215. If you watch the old videos, and I started cutting down. And I fucked up because I didn't stay at that training weight for a while. So as I was cutting, I also lost those gains. So now I'm going to be smart. I'm going to stay at this training weight for a while and maintain these gains, have my body get used to these leverages and have my muscles get really used to this. And then I'll slowly, gradually cut and hopefully maintain this strength at a lower body weight because uh, it is my goal to hit 405 under 200 pounds. So uh, hitting 315 for six reps is one step in that direction. So I am very, very happy. And not to mention, I'm doing it with the sprained thumb still. And also my stupid ass yesterday, I was playing with this knife. And as I was playing with it, I wasn't paying attention. When I closed it, it cut off the tip of my finger. So with freaking two fucking stupid ass hands, I was still able to hit it for six reps. So I'm pretty fucking happy. Then uh, I rushed through the rest of my accessories. I still finished all of them, but I had to rush through all of them because I'm running out of time. I got to go film. Uh, just kidding party right now. So I knocked out uh, weighted pull-ups and then smashed some uh, dumbbell incline. I went a little bit heavier this time. Try to really get build out my chest because I realized on the seventh rep, even though, um, oh, the re so on 315, I think I could have got seven reps. But uh, I fucked up because I lost tightness in my abs and my back. But that's not to say that I will still be able to get it because a lot of people, they're like, oh, you know, my, my foot slipped or whatever slipped. That's why I couldn't get the last rep. Well, guess what? Bench is an entire body workout. Your whole body has to be tight. You have to have tight glutes, good leg drive, good core. All of that plays into your bench. So don't think just because you got strong chest, strong shoulders, strong triceps, you can complete all the lifts. It's just important to work all that other stuff. So got to make, make sure to stay tight and uh, keep everything nice and solid so I can have a good foundation to fucking blast those motherfucking weights into 405. And it is still my goal to hit 1,500. Although this goal is taking a while, I'm never giving up. And I'm going to keep going until I hit that motherfucking goal. But I am getting really close. That's it. Peace. When we'll get clean together. And I'll find me a soapbox where I can shout it. And my weight is around 200 right now. So uh, he said, I'm actually doing a really good job. I'm like, all right, cool. So uh, I'm still on my way, trying to build up my shoulders, build up my shoulder strength, because uh, that used to be one of my strongest points. And I felt like that's what caused me to have 